The Sports Desk is sponsored by Jim Butler Chevrolet, the Midwest's number one Chevy dealer, 10 years running. If the Cardinals were in the AL West, they'd be 14 games behind the Rangers for first place. Luckily, they're not, but so far this series, Texas has been able to add to the Cards misery. Let's go down to Arlington. Bruce Bochy has his squad really rolling. Cards struck first tonight, though. Nolan Arenado slugs that one for a two-run shot in the first inning. Matthew Libertor, he got the start for the Cards. Four innings, four runs. Drew Verhagen relieved him, and former Cardinal Adolis Garcia unloaded on that blast. He's going to rub it in a bit for good measure down the line, too. Almost takes his bat to first base with him. He was four for four tonight. Jordan Walker did demolish a baseball 430 feet late for his third homer of the season. I think that launch angle will play just a bit. But that's where the good news ends. Rangers win 6-4 and the Cardinals fall to 12 games under 500. Albert Pujols is diving headlong into his new role as an analyst with Major League Baseball. He was on the Cardinals broadcast on Peacock Sunday. And this morning he explained his process on some of his most memorable hits, like his 2005 NLCS homer off Houston's Brad Lidge. My thought was he was going to go to the slider. I think the first pitch right there, that set up everything. Wait, stop right there. What do you mean it set up everything? As soon as he threw that pitch, I was like, So I, you knew it. I got him. I was ready. Next pitch, if you look at it, it was like I was looking for it because I knew he was going to go to his best pitch. It's the news that has the sports world and the entire internet, for that matter, buzzing. After months of drama and bad blood, the PGA Tour and the Live Tour are merging and bringing the DP World Tour along with them. It was a move that shocked just about everybody, even some players. Two-time major champ Colin Morikawa found out, like we did on Twitter this morning. So what does this mean for all the players who didn't jump to live for the big payday? Golfers like Rory McIlroy stayed loyal to the PGA Tour, while a Saudi-backed league was handing out hundreds of millions of dollars. I talked to a guy today who knows better than anybody in St. Louis how those players are feeling. I feel like you just got stabbed in the back. You've been towing the line, and I got to tell you, Rory especially, it is taking a big, big toll on him personally, emotionally. You saw him walking into Augusta National playing perhaps the best golf of his career and walking out of there on Friday missing the cut because so much of this live stuff and so much of it, it's just heavy. I'm excited about one thing. We get to see the best players in the world playing regularly against each other, Corey. That's what I'm really excited about. Otherwise, this makes me sick to my stomach. It's a new day for Mizzou baseball. The team introduced its new head coach yesterday, and he has some St. Louis roots. Carrick Jackson is a former Kirkwood pioneer and was an assistant at Mizzou before he was the head man at Memphis. It means an awful lot for Jackson to come home and rebuild this Tigers program. Don't believe me? Just watch this. It's not very often that you can stand and say, uh, goal accomplished. This is a special place to me. And to be blessed with this opportunity to lead this program, you don't know how much it means. Cool to see a motion like that. But Mike and Ann, if you have any suggestions for the Cardinals, I, you need to send it over right now. We are at whatever yeah. DEFCON level sure is the worst. I'm sure I can figure it out, guys. Yeah. You've got it. I've man. got it. <laughs> I've got it all planned <laughs> Nothing out. else has yeah. worked. they got to try something else. <laughs> well, doing nothing isn't working, that's for <laughs> that's sure. True. Corey, thanks. Pam Beasley returns to 